everyone, what is up? It is Berlin, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how you doing? What day are we on? Thursday? Yep, it is Thursday. So, welcome to this video. We're going to get into some Jeffree Star drama. Yesterday, Jeffree Star went on his IG stories. Kind of looked like he was struggling with something, if I'm honest. He did kind of say that there'd been a lot going on behind the scenes. So, I'm going to roll you that clip. Alright guys, I am about to film... Um, a brand new video and I'm filming it by myself for the first time ever we'll explain that in a minute but um, there's been a lot of craziness happening in my life 2021 has started uh, very um, insane and I haven't uploaded in a few weeks and I haven't had the ability to there's been a lot of shifts and changes um, and it's time to sit down and just talk I miss just sitting and talking to you guys so <sighs> 20,000 deep breaths, be right back. So, there is a little bit of speculation online that this could be something in Jeffrey's personal life behind the scenes. This could be something to do with the business. People really don't know. But today, I found something which I think might have something to do with it. And I'm going to get into it right now. So, I'm going to be painting my eyes while we do it. I've already got my base on. Girl. The tea is hot. This pink that I've got on my cheek there is the Mitchell Blush. It is that one. I am really in love with this shade Sweet Cheeks at the moment. I've got three of them. But this one is just one that I keep going to because it's just such a gorgeous kind of like dolly pink. And now to kind of prep my eyes, I'm going to get into the P. Louise Pastel Base. And this is the colour Vivid Violet. So, let's get into the Jeffree Star tea. When I was online earlier, I noticed something that was under one of Jeffree Star's tweets. In the comments, there was somebody there who had pointed out that Jeffree Star's Magic Star concealer components had either been copied or something. They posted a picture of an Instagram account that was selling those very same containers as lip glosses. I will pop the screenshot in here for you. Now, I thought this was really, really bizarre because I remember back in 2019, when those concealers came out, Jeffrey had said that those containers were custom. As you guys are looking at the component, what did you think when you first saw it? I literally got like my full 90s fantasy with this component. Yes. Like it gave me everything. Yeah. Like the fact that it's custom. Like one thing you do is actually put money back into your components. Like have to. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi quality. <laughs> hi casket, how are you? Hi casket. So I want to ask you. Oh, what inspired, since you Ooh. asked me about the component, mm -hmm. what inspired you to design this component? Like what Ooh. it looks like, the pink. The, there's Listen. so much going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Um, besides the formula, right? If you just had the formula, it's like, whoa, what is happening? It's very like, we'll say like Sailor Moon, mm -hmm. very like Barbie, very like princess. Like 90s fantasy. Yes, I full love it. fantasy. Um, and then you see the Luciite, you know, plastic double wall here. Mm -hmm. Very like, I want it to look expensive and different and very like magic wandy and just like, bam, hi. like, hi. <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like stars are about to shoot out of this. Um, I did get a lot of questions after my, uh, not reveal video, my first video from last week about the star on top. Now this mm -hmm. is made with a expensive metal. Is it break proof? No. If you drop it from far away, it can break, but it is pretty sturdy. Like it is, I mean, it's, it's sharp too. It, yeah. So it's not just like plopped on, glued on. No, like it's custom. It is very, yeah. We oh, did a wow. full custom mold. And like we were talking about earlier, there's so many concealers on the market, right? Like I'm looking over there. A lot of the components look so boring. Like yeah. I can't tell. It's 2019. There's so many makeup brands now. And yeah. then 2020, there's going to be even more makeup products, products, yeah. products. So what's going to set yours apart? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. Exactly. The components are already that. speaking so highly. Yes. Okay. How come that girl with this lip gloss has got exactly the same component as the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer? If it's a custom design, what's happened there? Has it been ripped off by, you know, a factory in China or something like that? I don't know. But scrolling down the comments, somebody said those containers 
got those components are available on Amazon. So I went and did a little bit more digging and it turns out they're not only available on Amazon, but they're also available on Etsy and on eBay. So now I'm like, what's this girl? This is really, really weird. I'm going in with this bad boy for my eyes. So if it's the case that Jeffree Star's concealer component has been stolen, then I'm pretty sure he's got a legal case against whoever is copying that. And in this case, it looks like it might be multiple factories, being that it's available everywhere, like Etsy, eBay, Amazon. And then you've got companies like that girl selling it on Instagram, who also, by the way, when you clicked on her Instagram account, which she has now privated, that's dodgy, the fact that she's privated it, must mean that she is probably getting sued by Jeffree Star or his team because of this. I'm going to grab the shade High King first of all to start off with and bang it in the crease. So what do you guys make of all that? You know, do you guys think it's the case that Jeffree Star's component has been copied? Which in that case, do you think he's going to have a legal case against whoever these factories are that are selling these components or do you think that Jeffrey has pre-bought these components and printed the logo on them let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below but honestly I think being as those came out in 2019 and we're now in 2021 I think it looks like those designs have been copied personally because 2019 we really didn't see anybody else with these same containers these same components they were exclusive to the JSC brand so I'm assuming they've been copied and a lot of people are going to be getting a lot of lawsuits Jeffrey 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 girl <laughs> unleash your inner lawsuit this actually really reminds me of the time when makeup revolution copied Manny MUA's highlighter components. If you guys remember, he had those white sort of octagonal components that were kind of prism-like. And then a couple months after Manny came out with his, Makeup Revolution came out with a very, very, very same design and released it in three different colours. Then Manny actually made a YouTube video about that and then they got back to him. So really, it looks like a lot of these kind of influencer brands that get popular, unfortunately, it looks like a lot of them do kind of fall foul to because they're trendy or because they're popular. Other, you know, brands, other factories try and copy their stuff, which is custom. And of course, that really, really must suck if you've designed something custom and then somebody else just comes and, you know, does exactly the same thing copies it that must really really suck okay so now i'm just going to grab a lighter purple this one here deviant which is a really light kind of lilac shade and i'm just gonna blend out the edges up here a little bit with it so isn't this all really kind of weird i mean i do feel sorry for jeffrey if it's the case that you know, his design, his company's design got really badly ripped off and distributed in all different factories and stuff everywhere. And then, of course, sold to other people who are, you know, private labelling makeup and stuff like that. I do feel sorry for him if that's what's happened, because at the end of the day, it's never nice to have something that you've worked hard on stolen from you. You know, whoever you are, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, stinking rich or not, if your company and your designers have worked hard on something, then of course, yeah, it sucks to have it stolen. So I do think that's really horrible and really unfair. Yeah, I know a lot of people might not feel sorry for Jeffree Star in this situation, but you know, I just think as someone who, you know, has a kind of designy background, I just think it sucks that people are able to get away with ripping off other people's work like that. Okay, my loves, I'm going to leave this little video right here. Do let me know all your thoughts, comments and opinions on the drama down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. 
I am going to go have some dinner, finish my eyes, come back with a sickening kind of cut crease look, hopefully. And love you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye, guys.